Hi, this is Graham Bell with uh, EDA Cafe. I have the pleasure of speaking with uh, Avik Sarkar, Vice President of Customer Support at Apache Design Inc. Hi, Avik. Hi, how are you? Good, and I'm also speaking with Larry Williams, um, who's in charge of uh, Director of Product Management, I should say, for the Electronics uh, Business Unit at uh, Ansys. That's right. Hi, Larry. Pleased to see you, Graham, and pleased to see all of you on the uh, on the web. So we're going to do, be doing a dual interview today, and the reason for that, of course, is that Ansys uh, acquired Apache about six months ago, and we're going to talk about uh, the integration of those two companies, uh, what that brings to uh, the customer base uh, for both companies. So, uh, Avik, let me uh, start with you. Uh, what is the integration looking like uh, with um, Ansys, and uh, what perhaps uh, drove uh, the companies together? Okay, so that's a very good question uh, because if you look at, not too many people know about ANSYS's long history in the simulation industry. They have been in business for more than 40 years, focusing on enabling simulation-driven product design. So simulation is the core to what they do across multiple industries like mechanical, electromechanical, thermal, fluid dynamics, across multiple areas including electromagnetics. And if you look at what Apache did, was also a very heavy simulation focus on power, noise, and reliability. So we were the first to try to bring together chip packet system all together in a unified simulation environment. So the underlying technology that we focus on is simulation and not necessarily implementation. So those are the two areas that the companies agreed very nicely on. However, we are working on different spaces. ANSYS is more on the system side, on the board, package side, and Apache has been focusing on the chip side. So the complementary nature of our products and our focus areas are merging together very nicely. Uh, Larry, what are some of the issues related around system design, and how does um, having Apache as a part of your solution set uh, help your system customers? Uh, what we see there is that uh, there's a great opportunity to expand what electrical engineers can examine from a full, what we like to consider an ecosystem type of uh, approach. Um, the idea is that in electronic design we have package, we have board, we have system, uh, we have integrated circuit. And traditionally ANSYS has provided a very comprehensive solution, especially at the electromagnetics level, uh, for signal integrity design and engineering uh, to look at EMI, to look at uh, uh, system resonances, to examine uh, signal propagation across uh, package and board. But there's this piece missing, and that's the a full and comprehensive model for the integrated circuit. So now, with the acquisition of Apache, we can bring in uh, very accurate models for package, uh, integrated circuit, package, plus board and then use a full spectrum of system level solutions from ANSYS. Uh, that could include, as Avik has mentioned, not just the electromagnetics and electrical, but other physics. Uh, we can do for the full system, we can look at thermal properties, we can look at, uh, of course, broad-based EMI, we can look at mechanical stress and vibration. So really, we're, we're quite excited about the opportunity for our customers to be able to look at a full system integrity. Avik. Uh, how is your customers uh, receiving the, uh, the news that you're a part of ANSYS? Is there any disturbance uh, for your customers? So this is one area that we have been focusing on very um, much from the beginning. Our un overriding uh, philosophy is that we should not disturb our customers in terms of the products they're using, both Apache products or traditional ANSYS products. So our focus is to keep the roadmap, very strong roadmap of the Apache product development we have three broad areas. One is what we call ultra-low power design enablement. That is tying our power artist and our Red Hawk technologies together, driving RTL level power analysis and reduction all the way to chip level design. The second is what we call chip packet system co-design. And that's where we are working very closely with Larry and his team and other folks in ANSYS to make sure the Apache models are interpreted properly and vice versa. The third focus which is becoming very critical is advanced reliability and we are working on that, especially looking into 20 nanometer. So we are not disturbing our customers, our roadmap in any way. Larry, what are you talking about most here at the show at DesignCon? What's your particular focus here? Well, of course, we're getting a lot of questions about Apache and our plans there. And uh, there's some exciting um, uh, workshops that Apache's hosting tomorrow. Uh, Avik could tell you a little bit more about those. But we're going to be uh, describing a lot of the uh, technologies and our roadmap going forward with, uh, with the joint product solution and, and how that will uh, affect our customers. 
um, but on the broader uh, portfolio for system analysis, including all of the traditional e electronics business products uh, like HFSS and Designer SI, uh, we've got uh, some some great new capabilities. A lot of um, in HFSS, we've been pursuing a, a, an idea of hybrid solutions, using the right simulator for the job. So a, a particular model may may uh, require uh, the, um, the the details of an HFSS simulation, a detailed finite element simulation, uh, or at the system level, circuit simulation level, maybe they would like to look at another uh, part of the design and be able to combine these together. So this is a philosophy that we're sharing, that we're showing here uh, at DesignCon this year. Uh, some great enhancements in high performance computing using uh, a network of computers, a cluster, in order to solve very large problems uh, is, a, is an area. Very fast frequency sweeps, everyone needs a broadband simulation uh, for signal integrity design, so we're looking at that. And then a lot of automation at the circuit level. Um, for, for simulation, we're able to look at things like a high speed uh, DDR3 channel, for example. We fully automated that functionality in our designer SI product. So you can bring in models from uh, SI Wave, you can bring in uh, models from HFSS, combine them together in a top level HSPICE or, or using our simulator, Nexim in that environment, full parametric simulation and look at uh, DDR3 or, or uh, other uh, standard interfaces for serial interfaces as well. Uh, Avik, what are some of the panels uh, being presented here at the conference? So there are two workshops that we are working on. Um, we have had the uh, pleasure of inviting several of our customers to come and share their viewpoints on some of the challenges the industry is facing. The first uh, workshop is focused on what we call chip package co-design, looking at cost down and risk mitigation. So we have presenters from Intel and Cisco coming to that. The second workshop is focusing on 3D IC, stack die design, and we have in, get very uh, distinguished speakers from Xilinx, from LSI, and uh, also from Micron who are coming to present. Larry, thanks for speaking with our audience. Sure. Avik, thanks for speaking with our audience. Thank you very much. And thank you for watching. This is Graham Bell for EDA Cafe.